Wireless charging technology has had its ups and downs within the Android ecosystem, but Samsung has gone full steam ahead with wireless charging for the past few years with the, both their Galaxy S and Galaxy Note series smartphones. And on the Galaxy Note 10 that we have right here, Samsung is also including a feature called Wireless Power Share. So not only can this device be charged on, say, a wireless charging pad, it can also wirelessly charge other devices which have wireless charging built in. This is a feature that Samsung has advertised and marketed quite a bit, but it's not something that is enabled by default. It's not even in the settings application. There's not a toggle for it in the settings. Instead, we have to bring down the quick settings panel with two swipes from the top of the screen. And on the first page, you should see the wireless power share icon right here. Now, if you don't, you may need to swipe through the pages of icons right here. And beyond that, you may even need, if you still can't find it in this list right here, you may even need to tap that three dot icon and then tap on button order. So that, and then you'll find it up here at the top. Because a lot of times you can just take these icons and remove them from your quick settings panel. So it's possible that you have removed wireless power share if you did not find it in the list to begin with. Now again, it's just very easy to turn this feature on. We're just going to tap the wireless power share icon and it's instantly going to turn on. We're going to get this notification right here that lets us cancel and turn it off if we've enabled it by accident. However, we can also just tap the home button and go back to the home screen and the wireless power share feature is still enabled as you can see right there. The icon is now colored in because it is enabled. Now we can take this just to show you how this works. We can take this, turn it upside down because the wireless charging coil is on the back right here. And you can just take that and set it right on top and you're going to see it start charging. Now this will charge as long as the main device, your Galaxy Note 10 has battery. I'm sure Samsung has programmed it in to cut off at a certain amount just so that you don't use up all of your battery, but I have not tested this myself, so experiment and see how it works. And there you go. That is how to both enable and disable, because we can just go in there and tap on that quick settings icon to turn it off. That is how to enable and disable Samsung wireless power share feature on the Galaxy Note 10 and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus.